Welcome back, bitches, to Frosty Punks. So, we just weathered the storm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was a hundred degrees, negative a hundred degrees. Pretty, f pretty nippy out there. We got a lot of people sick, but nobody died. And that is a plus in my book. So, just taking a look around here. What do we got to work with? I'm probably going to survive one more storm and then call it there because there's kind of no point to continue after the negative 120. I mean, just for some, uh, for some constructive criticism, I would recommend maybe just progressively increasing or decreasing rather the temperature just because the cap at 120 is just I don't know it just makes it monotonous in my opinion I don't know something to think about just to make this mode a little bit more interesting because there's really no incentive to continue honestly after negative 120 but it's fun frozen ground <laughs> It's here, folks. It's here. It is here. Okay. We are in trouble now. We are in trouble. We need this. We need this now. <sighs> well, at least it's now and not before. Well, I might as well get rid of these. They're useless. What do we need here? 2200? 2200 coal to keep that operational. Plus, we need a bridge. I think we just might dismantle this entire station. Yeah. We need the steel, and we need the bridge really don't want to do this, but this would be an emergency. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Just dismantle this entire hub here. Is it all dismantled? Oh boy. Oh boy. This is pretty rough. It's as rough as it gets. We're going to build the bridge immediately because we need that coal right there. Come on, men. Build it, men. So I got 42 people which I think is too much. Hey, look, it's uh, Harold. I think we uh, named him. And he's complaining about long hours of toil. Good idea. Nah, I won't address that. No, I won't address that. Never. Won't address that. Never. Get your fucking ass back in there. Don't you dare defy me. Got the hot house selection not needed because we need coal mines. I think we're just gonna get the advanced. We're gonna get the advanced. We are on the clock. We have about we're losing about a thousand a day. We should be able to get this online pretty soon here. Excellent. Yeah. Here we go. Resources. Steam coal mine. Steam coal mine. I want the advanced coal mine. I gotta strip something though. Gotta strip something. What can I strip? 
I don't want to get rid of these infirmaries. Or the wall drill. Uh, I have enough wood right now. I got enough wood. Let's get these boys in here. That should do it. In fact, let's just conserve right now. Seems like the best course of action. Maybe I'll build a one, a regular wall drill. The regular. Then I'll change this one to the advanced. Upgrade it to the advanced wall drill or steam, whatever the fuck it's called. Mine? Steam? Advanced coal mine? Whatever it is. We need it. We need it soon. Because we on that clock. We're also going to get a, uh... The shrine? We're also going to need... A steam hub. How long is this? Five days. Five fuck days. Steam hub. I think this should hit it. We will see. Work overtime, obviously. Still not making enough, but not as bad as before. <laughs> we'll have these guys continue to work. Even though they're getting, like, grains of coal. If that's even the terminology they use. Mace Rock had nothing. So now we go to the frozen river. Go to that river. Get that steam hub, put it on six to two, whatever. Let's put that heater on. And we have about a 300 deficit, 20 hours left. But hopefully we can get that advanced coal. It's a good thing I, st I stocked up a little bit here. Or else we'd be in some deep fucking shit right now. We need that mine. We're getting a nice little uh, temperature increase here. Nothing. Let's go to the uh, ice jaws. The jaws made of ice. And what else can we do here? 14 hours, which means we can lower that a bit. How many levels can we lower it? Yeah, two levels. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's no problem. We got the advanced coal mine. We're gonna immediately build it right here. And I wasn't researching anything. Oops. We should research some of this efficiency stuff, I'm thinking. Or coal mining optimization. That sounds useful, considering my current predicament. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. This thing's nice and toasty. Livable. So now we're getting enough coal. And that's what's important here. Alright. There's not much more I need to research, to be honest. We're making all the shit we need. 
I would like to get another steelworks because the steel is uh, suffering here. We aren't getting enough. So I think we're going to get a flying hunters and then we're going to get a bridge. That's next on the agenda. And the scouts are not finding anything of importance of import could get another scout up. Just to find more uh, steam cores. Which would be nice. That storm is already rearing its head. So how many houses? They got 48 vacant beds. So we can get 48 people. New people. And I think we upgraded everything. No, we did not. We didn't upgrade these. I'll do it now, just because I'll forget if I find people. Alright, we can get this back online. Not really necessary, but we'll do it anyway. Because we have the people. We have the people to work it. 6 to 20. How about 8 to 20? There. And we are making positive coal. We're getting a surplus of coal. Surplus is better than a, a deficit. Deficiency. Man, they got nothing so far. Absolutely nothing. The next storm is five days. Five days away. Alright, what did I say I wanted? I said I wanted the flying hunters. We also need scouts, though. We need them scouts, though. I think first I'll boost boost their sleds. Put some rockets on them sleds, move them around a little bit quicker. Yeah. Get that up. How much steel we get in a day? 163. Seems pretty decent. Yeah, I have absolutely no problem with the wood right now. <laughs> look. Look who it is. It's been 40 days, and he's still coming up to me, asking if I will uh, reduce his hours. The answer is still a resounding no, my friend. Mein Freund. So... Get back in the factory. Raw food and wood. Not good. I could go for this destroyed steam core transport. It requires a bridge. Is there any more of those around here? This place is pretty useless over there at this point. I have no idea what's over there. But it looks like I'm gonna be jacking up the temperature one level pretty soon here. Which I think we're still making positive coal because the generator times two. Yeah, still good. We still good. I ain't gonna do the hundred percent relics thing because it just it takes way too long and 
you know, it's it's just you're not guaranteed you're going to even find the relics on the map. And then the hazards can slow you down. There's a lot of things that could just make it take even longer. It's not necessary. So, we're just going to do a regular playthrough until the last storm. Survive the last storm. And I think we're going to call it there. So this is in four days, 23 hours. I guess we'll go here. Got the boosted scout sleds, which is what we needed. After that, I shall get the flying hunters. And, uh, these people are eating. Wrap up well, we don't need to wrap up at all. We got the, uh, the upgrade, the heat. We're all toasty. Except for this wall drill. Which is freezing cold. Okay, it's only freezing cold for like a second. Not sure what that was about, but... No one's getting frostbite. Frostbitten. Ruined warehouse. It's kind of a hike. Cutting it close. Four days. We should be okay. I was looking to get some more survivors. Or better yet, some steam cores. And finally, the bridge. Wherever that steel was. Not there. Is that it? No, not there. Oh my goodness. It's two bridges away. Two bridges. Well that puts a damper on my plans a bit. Okay, well, we're just gonna wait. Get the next thing researched real quick quick. I'm thinking. Let's go with the generator. Upgrade. And I guess we can just build towards it. But this game is coming to a close. We just have to weather the last storm. Now, from my experience, Circle of Stones is always survivors. It's a survivor location, so we'll get some survivors. Another Hulk sighted? We don't care about that Hulk. We don't care about the Hulk. Hopefully it's not more people than... 48 because then we're gonna have to move some shit around don't feel like doing that or I could just extend the steam hub if need be we shall see okay go home he only brought us 33 food and 63 wood not too good so this is going to be 80, 100, 120, negative 120 Celsius. Isn't that like as cold as like Jupiter's moon or something? Something ridiculous. Like fucking like Neptune or something. Which I would say is pretty cold. What is your problem? Storm on the horizon? Yeah. No problem. <laughs> final warning. That's like the fifth final warning I got. 
since I started playing this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get this up in time. But I don't care. I guess I had the flying hunters. I forgot about it. Don't really have the steel for it, though. Having a bit of a steel problem. Yep, all this shit is too much steel. I guess we'll insulate the gathering posts. Cause why not? This man is coming. Yep, the survivors. And that is not more than 48, I think. That looks like th uh, 40. <laughs> oh my. I, I can't do math, folks. I, I just can't do it. Is that 49? Is that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that like. Is that like I'm like one short? I don't know. We'll build it just in case. I don't got time to be crunching numbers. Where's that 24? 24 7 hub. Right here. We're gonna do the extendo. Yep, just like that. Get a few more houses up in here. Or just one house, I guess. So he's bringing 21 workers, plus 10 kids, plus 18 engineers. Wow. Get out of here, Harold. Get your fucking ass back in the gathering post or the workshop or wherever you were. With your fucking pickaxe. Pickaxe have an ass. Go ahead and raise that hope. <laughs> Wasn't necessary, but we'll do it just cuz. Okay. Let's get another one of these. Because the food. We're getting more people, so we need more food. That's how it goes. You guys really gonna stop at 99%? You guys really gonna stop at the end? Very disappointed in my people. Okay, so the coal, how much is it gonna be? Still making positive. We don't need the wood right now. So I'm just gonna shut that down, take these motherfuckers out, and now we should be Okay, I guess. Yeah. Would like to have another infirmary, just in case the shit gets tough. So we're going to dismantle that. Don't know where I'm gonna put it though. Yeah, get shoehorned it in somewhere around here. It's kind of like bad location right there. Hmm. I think this is a bad place for the uh of the upgrade. folks boys and girls everything in between we only got one more storm and then that's a wrap generator efficiency upgrade 
could do that. None of this shit's necessary. I like my gathering posts, even though they're useless. But it's it resolves in one day. One day, one hour. Sure is. The storm is closing in on us. Will they make it? Yes, they will. If there are any people in there, well, God rest your souls. See? We save these people from their uh, certain death. From certain death. From their dism their demise. Infirmary, can we get it erected? Doesn't look like because we got this fucking steel in the way. There's 16 steel there. Can we gather it? Is it freezing? It's too cold? It's outside the range? How about in here? Can we get an infirmary in here? Nope. No infirmary in there. There's just not enough space. Not enough space around here. Maybe we dismantle the workshop? Alright, let's do that. Let's chop it down. Time. Get back to work. And the storm is on its way. Oh, this road. Goddamn roads in the way. Gotta clear up them roads. All right. This is getting hit by the uh, the shrine as well, so it's getting influenced by our Lord and Savior, the Frostpunk gods. We will have. I think. I think we're in good shape for this. I think. We shall see. We're going into this pretty strong. We got three infirmaries. So that can hold 60 sick people. They're also very, very quick at healing people. And... All right. back more people disband and this is the home stretch the home stretch here for the efficient gathering let's get the uh, flying hunters gear flying hunters we got more than enough food to feed everyone we got three days worth and that is enough so yeah we're just gonna fast forward to the end this is all good. Looks like the coal's good. Everything's good. We're all set. It's been an emotional journey, folks. Sharing this experience with you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Now enjoy the final storm. as it gets to ungodly temperatures that no man has seen before since the ice age I mean, this is colder than that probably let's take a look at the temperatures we got here alright so it's gonna be chilly all around chilly all around get these guys out you guys are almost done get them out Get them out of here. Get them out of there. My coal thumpers are thumping like normal now. Which is good. Got the infirmaries online. Everything is looking okay. People are chilly, but they're not chilly at work. They are 
quite content at work. Now the trick here is to not use the overdrive because you need it for this day. If you use it now, you won't be able to prepare for the two level drop. And a two level drop from Chili, folks, is very cold. And that's not gonna it's not gonna cut it. So let's go ahead and uh do a little fast forward. As people get sick. Harold, it's been emotional, my friend. You know what? Since it's the last storm, finally you get some respite. You worked hard for us. If without you doing the extended shifts, working like a million hours a week, yeah, we couldn't do this without you, so thank you. Thank you very much. And now, there you go. And we're still making positive coal. He served us well. It's really people like him that uh, gets us through the times like this. Without him, we'd all be dead. We'd all be frozen. We'd all be getting hypothermia. Just closing our eyes until we die. Close our eyes, fall asleep in the snow. And yeah. That's what happens. Uh, none of this really matters. So... Just grab anything that works. How many people are sick? You're gonna get quite a few people sick here, I imagine. Not sure how many, maybe 30? 25? 30? Ballpark? Look at it climbing. Oh, more than that. Dear God. Was that 44 sick? And now the overdrive goes on. It looks nice now, but then it hits negative 120. And it's chilly again. So, they were warm for a half an hour. And back to the chilly homes. Sorry, folks. Sorry, pal. Oh, it's cold. What am I doing? I think this is the second time I did that. Or is it this one? I don't know. Somebody got, like, frostbite. I foolishly forgot to turn on the heaters. And they didn't tell me. The guy's always complaining about overtime, but he's never telling me about it. The conditions, the, the temperature in these places. You gotta tell me, man. You gotta tell me. Right. We can just ride this to the end, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no problem. About the same amount sick, maybe a little bit more. Nothing we can't handle, though, with our godly infirmaries. We got those Jesus infirmaries up. Just killing it. Got these super doctors. Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of our struggle is. Hey man. You survived. And that is that. Just for good measure, let's just see if we can get these people nice and healed up before we can actually acknowledge this as a no death no death extreme endurance run don't wanna jump the gun here just see if these people Get going. Time to earn your it looks like they're okay that's it all right, let's go ahead and admire our little city here. Made a few uh, gaffes, a few hiccups here and there, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. It could have been a lot worse, trust me. Any of you who have actually played this mode, you'll know that those random hazards can just decimate your entire city. 
So, let's see. There's a few of the uh, minor blunders I made earlier on. Uh, I forgot to turn on the heater. What else did I do? It's like... I guess you could manage things better, put people in places when they aren't working. Like right now I have 86 people not doing anything. They could be doing something, but... You know, it's it's exhausting doing that. Just move people around. I just I just want to have a good time. You hear? Just want to have a good time. Well, if you guys have any questions, any questions at all, hit me up and I will answer. One thing I will note, though, let's take a look at the laws. Food additives. Food additives. Now, more people get sick. Yes, that is true. But with the soup, the discontent just gets ridiculous. And good old Harold will be he'll be even more upset with you than usual if you get the soup. Because he doesn't like soup at all. And he'll be up your ass the whole time. And I like to use the extended shift the whole game as you've seen. So for me, the extra sick is manageable if you get overcrowding, which is much better than the other one. What's it called? Sustain life? I don't think I've ever gotten that before. I'm pretty sure it's terrible and y useless. Triage. Triage. Was that French? This kills people, don't get it. Care house. You need this if somebody gets frostbite because then they commit suicide, I think. Corpse disposal is always preferable to the cemetery because people will heal quicker with the organ transplants. This next step down the tree, organ transplants, the sick recover faster, and that is just amazing. This in conjunction with the overcrowding does wonders, as you have seen. Child labor, this is the one that seems to be the most controversial. Those 15 extra hands, you saw how many kids I had in my village? Especially in this mode when you just don't have enough people and just the beacon is just too unreliable at the beginning. You need to get your infrastructure up. You need your your heating. You got to get all this research. You need resources. You have too much stuff you got to do. You got to put the kids to work. I'm telling you. You got to do it. Without the child labor safe jobs, I don't think I could do this deathless, honestly. I don't think I can do it. I mean, sure, the argument is that you can get medic apprentices, engineer apprentices, and speed things up in this department, but, I mean, look how many kids I have. Do you see that number? 43 kids? And they're all in these gathering posts. All in the gathering posts. Which frees up the workers to hunt for food. It's just too good. What else to talk about? These are mandatory, of course. These you don't need unless you get soup, I guess. So if you want to go the soup route, then I guess you can get this to lower the discontent. I didn't need it. As for order and faith, order... I think to get the agitator, you have to go into the controversial law territory. And I don't like doing that. And here, the shrines are just one, two two laws away, and the shrines boost the efficiency. Very easy to construct. They're only 10 wood, 10 steel. It's a steel at that price. So, that is my logic and my strat for Frostpunk at the moment. It might change in the future with any kind of updates or what have you, but as it stands, that is how it, how it stands, as they say. And with that, I uh, I bid you all adieu. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Frostpunk Extreme Endurance Rifts with the Bridges. I'm not going to do 100%. At this point, it's just the same thing over and over again. Hey, devs. I want you to listen to me. Lower the temperature. Keep on going. Negative 150. Negative 160. Absolute fuck zero. Keep going. I want to make it so it's actually survival, not survival until negative 120. You feeling me? You feeling me? All right, guys, I love you all. Peace. Oh, man, look at it.